Ready to go. Kill some squirrels. We're gonna go squirrel hunting and see if we can find any squirrels. Katie and dad actually went earlier today and they didn't see any, so I'm not sure that we're gonna see any, but regardless, we're gonna have fun being in the woods and being together. So this should be fun. I haven't been squirrel hunting in ages. That tree right there, it's hard to tell, but there's a hole in it and dad said it was a den tree. So when I was a lot younger, like 13 young, I would actually, a couple times I went squirrel hunting before school. And I remember it was cold and I had on a lot of layers and I got up early and I left before daylight and I had a little pellet gun and I went squirrel hunting uh, not too far from home. And then I looked at my watch, you know, and kept time and Came back in time to go to school that day. I did that several times. That was a long time ago. But those were fond memories for me. And of course, any time spent hunting with dad is fond memories. So I was just excited that we got this opportunity to do this today. That's where you find gold, right there in that eddy between those crooks. Yeah. If I was going pan, which I don't That's reckon good I'm going to. You can come up here. Hey, like that. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Katie doesn't like it. it? It's liquid IV and it's straw oh. strawberry. Well, I'm not going to drink it again, I guess. It's really good for you if you need electrolyte boost. I mean, it's all right. It's just not good. Now, what were you going to say? You should come down here in the summer when it's warm. See that little narrow place that's close to the bank? You can dam that up and make this deeper and you can get in it like you yeah. did when you was little. I did. i tell you another spot I've got in it until I noticed it was a gigantic rock teetering on the edge and I was afraid it'd mash me in there and I wouldn't be able to get out. So I stopped going in there. Right down there in that hole, there's a pretty pretty big hole. And it's when, when there's enough water, it's waist deep on me. And I'd get in there and kind of, you can't really float, but I got in there and having a good time until, like I said, I saw that big rock kind of perched on the edge and I thought it was a safety issue. But you could body surf this. Do you see that? That's one big slick rock. Me and Jonah did. Me and Jonah come up here. He begged me to take him up here, so I did. 
and we got in right here, and he was little enough. He just scooted himself over that rock. And well, you can down. see the water comes off of that, and it kind of hits this and goes around that rock no, there. That, that's a huge slick rock, one big piece. Yeah. You see that right there from the bank tree? That was an old swinging branch. That's the edge wow. of it. Wow. Wonder what's living up under there. Hidey behinds. <laughs> Dad said it's Hidey behinds. Explain to the YouTube world what Hidey behinds are. Hidey behind is uh, you turn around and they're still behind you, so you don't really know what they are. <laughs> Dad always told us that when we were kids. Of course, Katie's hunting for some rocks. Do you find any good ones? Yeah. Oh wow, it's a heart. I guess I'll put that in my pocket. Yeah. Cool. So no squirrels yet, but we sure are having a good time in the woods. We are having a good time, and uh, I don't know if we're going to kill anything, to be honest, today, because it's really late in the season, for one, and for two, it's just like 97% humidity out here, but it is a lot of fun, and earlier when me and Dad came out, and we weren't filming, we, um, I would say we jumped a deer, but she found us, she walked right into us, and it was really cool, I wish I had it on camera, she walked right up to us, realized we were there, and then blew, Yeah. and blew for 10 minutes, running off. That's really awesome. It was just fun. Like, a lot of people don't get to see that. And she was so close. I mean, we were just standing on the ground, and she was only, like, 15 feet away by wow. the time she saw us. Which I heard her coming. I heard something rustling, and I was like, is that a squirrel? What is that? But then I heard a stick break, and I was like, squirrels don't That's usually break sticks. I mean, I guess they could, but. Yeah, but something with enough body weight to break a stick. And then I saw four legs, and I was like, "That's a deal. And it's just so nice being out here. It's beautiful. The creek and everything, it's cool today, so we're not hot walking around, but we're not cold, and it's just gorgeous. If anything, we just wanted to take you along to get to show you we're so blessed to live in such a pretty place. It is beautiful. But we'll cross our finger for some squirrel boys. Dad has always quizzed us when we were in the woods about trees, you know, just trying to teach us what trees are what. This big tree? Mm -hmm. Look at the bark. A beech tree? Nope, it's close. It starts at the beach. Oh, it's a, uh, it's not a birch, is it? It is a birch tree. Okay. Look at the funny looking bark. Nope, there's no other tree in the woods that has bark. It looks like papery almost. It is papery. What's this tree? Sweet gumballs. They're way... It's a gum. I don't know if it's sweet gum. It's a gum okay, tree. it's a gum it's tree. tree. That's called a dead tree, that's right. We all know that we couldn't ride on your back, Corey. You're the tiniest one out of all of us. <laughs> but I have the good shoes for this. I can try. It's my turn. Like a starter off a car? It's a car bar for sure. Mm -hmm. What right Katie here. is saying, because I'm not sure the camera can hear, is just all this stuff right here used to be kind of like a trash dump and there's so many snuff glasses that are like I don't know maybe that tall and we drink out of those today mama would come and dig them when we were kids and we would play in the creek and we drink out of those glasses today we do that for years when they clear cut over here a bunch of trees fell on that trash dump and crushed everything that was left sadly and Katie and I come back here not long ago and that's probably been a year ago now and metal detected in here but we didn't really find much it's hard to see, but that's a bucket over there, and Dad just informed us that was a homemade coon trap that he made when we were kids. And this old road that we're walking up is a logging road, and you can see the horn bushes from here. Hey. Y'all, this briar is gnarly. It's like a briar tree. I'm trying to get it to focus, and there we go. This thing is gnarly. It just comes out eye level. Yikes. But get a load of those horn bushes. Isn't that cool? I told them, I said, keep your eyes peeled for hawk feathers. If you've been on the channel before, you know that I have a unhealthy obsession with hawks because I think they're awesome birds. They're beautiful. And it's my dream to find a hawk feather in the woods. So if anyone on here has found a hawk feather in the woods or has any tips on how to do that, please let me know. We'd love to find one.
Another horn bush there. Right, when we get up here, it's gonna be a little quieter because when this holler opens up, it used to be wild squirrels in it. Okay, I'll be quiet. What if we be quiet about it? Dad said when we get in this holler up here to be quieter because there used to be a lot of squirrels up here and I said I'd be quiet. Go right up in here and then climb up on the bank because you can see once you get past this thick stuff, it opens up. And just sit down and it just about kill as many as you wanted back then. That would be awesome. But I don't know if it's like that now. I ain't done this. I ain't hunted here in 20 years. Okay, you want some squirrels? Believe it or not, squirrel meat, I may like it. Oh, I just can't believe I'm going to say this. Get shunned. I may like it better than deer meat. Squirrel meat is my favorite meat than I have ever ate. I've never liked anything better than I like squirrel meat ever. That's the squirrel condo. This is the squirrel condominium up here. Right there's the holler between them two clumps of big pines. That's the holler that goes up into the flat. That's it. Yeah. And we were in the bottom of it there this morning. That's right. And then that is there that you can see from the highway. tried his best to resuscitate that tree but it didn't work i wish the camera would pick that up that's the weirdest thing i've ever seen it's like an ombre in these dead needles here you can see it it's kind of weird So he hasn't been down this holler since we were born. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, so update. No squirrels. Probably not going to kill any squirrels today, but we've still really had a good time. And when we get back, we'll see what we do. But I think still have had a fun time. Corey's smiling at me on the other side of the camera. I've had a great time. We have had a good time. Look, I have this idea. Justin, if you watch this video, what are you looking at? That's a big uproot tree back there. Yeah. Justin, if you watch this video and you like my bandana and you would like some tie-dye bandanas, I think that you would like them because you wear bandanas like I do all the time. And I can send you some. My friend DJ makes them and DJ will probably watch this. DJ, love it. I love the bandanas. So DJ, Justin, you've been called. And I guess we're going to walk down here now. And Is there anyone else that we're going to call? Maybe Sparrowhawk or... Barrow Hawk Black Eagle. Now I got my arm. That'll probably draw blood. Mark away from it. I don't want it to rip this shirt. I don't want it to rip this shirt. Oh gosh, it's poking me somewhere else. Turn this way. Turn this. Oh, I see. Okay. Right. Hold still. If I let go, it... ow, ow. Okay. Come under, Corey. Oh man, this thing is. I need to check my arm out. I was interested to see if it was bleeding or not. 
Before we go home, I talked them into going to my favorite part of the creek. This is my all-time favorite part of the creek because it just turns straight back and I just think it's so pretty. Well, and it's worthy to mention, this looks so different than my lifetime. You can see how tall the banks are over time. And there's kind of a hole here that didn't used to be here. This looks a little different. But I have a picture I'll put in the video right here. What this hole used to look like. It was pretty, had pretty waterfalls. This is a knife that Dad made. And he put some deer horn in there. Made out of an old file. Yeah, made out of an old file. That's awesome. You got a walnut handle. That's so cool. Looks good. Get the shot. Oh, yeah. Just an old rough knife, but it works great. Oh, you're not. Nice. You're sure, that's for sure. <laughs> Look how bright it is. Man, camera's not wanting to focus, but that is really bright. You get old like me and got old eyes, you can't see the factory beads, so you gotta put that on it. Uh, yeah. But I can see that. That's awesome. What kind of gun is this? It's an old Stevens 12 gauge. And I bought it. Katie bought it at the gun show. And I ended up trading her out of it because it kicks so hard. But I really like it just because it's an older gun. I like old guns. Oh, yeah. I like old guns way better than new ones. Yeah. It, it is pretty. It ain't nothing special, but it's just an old, old Stevens. It's a workhorse and will probably outlast me. It's pretty. You know what that's shaped like? What's it shaped like? It's an owl. It's a two-horn owl. Oh, it is. Turn around the other way. Oh yeah, I have one that is actually a perfect a owl, owl, but I just don't know where it's at. And then I picked this up. I thought this was interesting how that rocks in there. That's pretty. I might be able to cut that. It's got a lot that'll pass through it. A little bit. I'll take it with me. <laughs> Thank what about you. Bill? Yeah. I guess my playtime's over. I'm just over, sis. extra anxious for playtime because usually in the summer and in the spring I come down here and I stay down here nonstop. And I'll I'll go this stretch from here back to the house and, and go back and forth and back and forth and there'll be holes that I dig I'll sit down because then I can wear shorts and just sit down in the water and dig and occasionally I'll go back and step in my own hole <laughs> which is embarrassing but nobody's usually with me to see it but this summer I was just so busy I really didn't go down to the creek much and I'm really missing that time and now it's definitely the wrong time to be down here it's really cold but this spring and summer I'll make more of it I'll I'll come down here more and and look for stuff so yeah well no squirrels but we've had a blast and we're headed home. And I think Katie said she wanted to shoot these guns, so maybe we'll do that before supper time. It is time before we retire for the evening to shoot these guns. They have to be cleaned anyway. We had pizza for lunch and we're gonna, we put these targets on it so that we can shoot it. Something within, Corey, is it pizza? What is it? I don't know. Open Maybe. it, find out. It's a paper plate and we're gonna shoot it too, okay. Yeah. Still 
Those are the three inch shells. And they're gonna kick a little worse. Now I wanted to see what would happen. Okay. So I was correct about my reasoning for that. Okay, do you want me to shoot one now? Oh, I love that smell. Oh, I smell it from here. I'll have to have the earphones Ooh, in now. Oh, that smells so good. So my back, back trigger is what I'm pulling now. Yeah. You're dead, mister. So that would be a dead turkey. <laughs> Let's go see if I hit it off because I'm kind of feeling like maybe Is that not. Cool? Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I'd like to look if I load it up again with these other two shells, I bet I could. If I get another try. I think you hit it some. Yeah, I might have hit it some. Shoot them, tell me to see, and I want to see what you think. Put your headphones back on your team. Let's see, that's the seven. That's the eight. There you go. Now it's ready. You hit the box. I saw the box rattle. That was fun. <laughs> That's hey, okay. Buddy. Watch out. <laughs> I did pretty good. Not terrible. I got a lot of it mostly on this side. But yeah, but there was plenty that went through his head. It's a pretty long shot for full of anyway. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. That is going to conclude this video for today. We had a lot of fun. I know we didn't see any game and we didn't shoot any game. So I said, why don't we come back and shoot here? So we feel like we, we were at least able to shoot. Um, I had shot the double barrel and me and Nick bought it at the gun show. We took it home and shot it, but I wanted to see what dad thought. Been a long time since I shot the 410, which I traded him for. So now the 410's mine. I don't think, Corey, you, you'd probably shot that 410 before. Maybe it's just been a while. And um, so yeah, we had we had a lot of fun. We really enjoyed getting to be outside and getting to be in the out of doors. Um, comment below, tell us what you think. If you like to go squirrel hunting or maybe you just like to go walking around the woods and see what you can see where you're at. So. Until the next time, God bless you, God keep you. See you at the next one. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>